Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging. That means we have another review. So let's see who it is from. Just so I can get it opened. There we go. Well, it looks like we got a pre-stamped cross stitch and a diamond candy sure everything's out of the bag okay this is from new craft day i think look all right is that it oh yep okay so we'll start with the diamond painting and it is a 40 by 60 and it was six dollars and 27 cents which is awesome except for the stupid plastic bags I'm telling you I have been able to get some of them back in the bags but I still prefer the padded bag so let's see what this looks like let's see if I can get it to lay flat let me change my lighting just a bit and that way maybe it won't shine so much on it but it's a great big tree and you have a, a house up here in the tree with some reddish leaves I'm going to put a picture here all right And that way you get to see the whole thing. Oops. Trying to get it all unwound here. Now I don't believe I'll be able to get the plastic off. You know, and get it all straight, but we'll certainly try. But I just thought this was a beautiful picture with the sunset. And with that there. It is very nicely printed. It has 23 different colored drills. Let's see if we can measure it. 40 by 60. Get a little light, but not so it shines like right on it. All right, it is 59 and a half by 40 centimeters. So it's almost 60. The actual picture size is 54 or 21 and a quarter by 35 centimeters or mm, 13 and three quarters. So yeah, I thought it was a beautiful little picture. I love all these red trees and the Chinese looking houses. You know me, yeah. I'd do my whole house in Chinese everything, I swear. We're, we're about there. So I just kind of do it all in the the pictures and the, the diamond paintings and the cross stitches well I'll get it as good as I can let's see if we can turn it this way no it's just not showing up but you see that nice pink background just beautiful it's like the house is in the trees there's even a house over here let's see if I can pull it Whoop. trying to not let it shine but there's one up there and there's one right there and then you have houses coming down the branch of this great big huge tree and then at the bottom you have a little pond or I don't know what you call it it's not a river you have a water feature here that comes through alongside of this big house here it's just absolutely beautiful does come with a boat, wax, and a pin. <coughs> and
and beautiful, beautiful packaged. They are packaged in baggies, as you can see. But just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And it is around. So, yeah. I, I think it's beautiful. Just stunning. Yeah, but we're going to have to wait on this to start this because, well, I may be able to. I could just use the things in the baggies. But, you know, I prefer my things like these. Yep, we must have 40 of those right now. But they're all occupied, as usual. So, yeah, I thought for under $7. Oh, heck yeah. I like that. And I got a new pen. Whoops, that is going to come off, isn't it? No, of course not. Okay, just can't handle it. Cut it. Thank you. Works better. And this new pen, it's acrylic. And it looks like somebody just kind of stirred the colors right through the acrylic. And there's a little bit of sparkle in there. This one is a lot lighter. Mm, where's my other one? Oh dear, what did I do with it? It's here, so no. Oh, here it is. Now, I did check. Remember me talking about checking the weights? So this one weighs less than this one, and it's the same size. So, yeah. I just thought it was pretty. And it comes in, they have several, like, five to seven different kinds you can pick up or pick from. It does come with ends. And this is a double-ended. And they're all plastic. They're not metal or anything. And this pin. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go back. I lied. The diamond painting was eleven dollars and twenty-two cents. The pin itself was six twenty-seven. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie. I have it written down because you know my brain is just not used for. But you can put stuff at both ends, or you can put a single placer at one end, like I do. But let me try that again. This was a little bit bigger. And I just kind of give it a tap, and it goes in there. That is not going anywhere. And then I use the other end for all my others. And it goes in just fine. You just kind of screw it back and forth if you didn't want to tap it. This is like a six, six placer. I, that's what I use the most. I used to use a three or a four placer, but six placer things move along a lot faster, especially on the ones where there's big areas. So yeah, you get a straightener, probably a nine or ten placer. And a three or four placer, the six placer, and a single one. All comes in this nice little kit for $6.27. But anyway, I like that diamond painting. It, yeah, I don't care what it was going to cost. So I'm going to set this over here with my other one. I have a little miscellaneous bucket that I keep the extra glue in and my little... Um, ergonomic things that go on the, I don't have one, a pink pen, well here we go, goes on this kind. These are really nice. I use them every once in a while. I am starting to like these bigger ones because they fit in your hand better. You don't have to crunch your hand down so much. It's like writing a pencil for me. So yeah, but that holds all my little doodads. And I even have a brush to brush off like dirt or, you know, if you get hairs on your diamond painting. I think I got this from one of the companies, and I think it was like 50 cents. So it's been invaluable, and the brush bristles are nice and strong. So they just brush everything out of the way. So, yeah. Well, let's get on to the cross stitch. Now, when I wrote this down, it said, I said, that it was Cardinal... Cardinal and Snow. 
Well, I'm sorry. It doesn't have a thing to do with snow. Some days, I'm crazy. I look at something and I just assimilate it as being snow. But it's not snow. You can see that it's white flowers. But isn't that a beautiful bird? It is a 40 by 53. It's an 11 count. Why 11 CT means 11 count. I have not gotten one that was Y14 CT. I don't know why. I just haven't. This is a fairly big pattern. Nice and big and huge. It is printed or stamped, excuse me. Does have instructions how to start, how to finish. This has 47 colors. Oh my goodness. And it's huge. We have 310 black. No 666. Red, they're using 606. 817 and 947. A lot of different shades of red. Or like red to orange or red to yellow orange. You know what I mean. You'll see here in a minute. And... No, 3371. <coughs> um, there's no 939 or 823. But yeah, I thought it was beautiful. This pattern will match your canvas. But isn't that beautiful? I don't know what kind of flowers those are, but if you do, let me know. They kind of remind me of dogwood. But I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. There's so many different kinds of flowers out there, but I just thought that cardinal was beautiful. I like the reds and the flowers. Evidently, you know, the snow. Sorry. It's not snow. It's white flowers. Maybe it's magnolias. Are they magnolias? I don't know. I thought they were more of a cup thing. I don't know. And big, you know. And we got a bag of tools with one, two, three, four, five needles poof ball thimble and a needle threader and it is a once again I don't know if you can see that they're little birds so that's cute let's take a look at those threads this if I can figure out how to open it maybe maybe there we go Pull it out and lay that up there. I like to keep those threads in a bag. Especially if I'm not going to start it or something. You know. Keeps it all clean. This is 3-8. Trying. It's fighting me. 3865. So you have a full hank of that. No extra. You know. Other than that. Of any other colors. Hang on. I got to shake it down. Give it a good flop here and get everybody away from each other. So we'll start with the other end. There's your 3865. I think it's this one. But look at the reds and the. I don't know what that color is. Like. Oh my lord. Mauve? Like a dark mauve? I don't know. But just beautiful, beautiful colors. And put that over there. And then we have the oranges and pinks to reds to magenta to mauve to a paler mauve. You even have some light green and pale blue, pale yellow. Just a wide, wide assortment of colors. Aren't they beautiful? Just absolutely stunning. I'm going to put that up there. And then we're going to put it in the middle. That way we don't lose it or it doesn't get dirty. And then we'll look at the canvas. Very nice. It is surged all the way around. We're going to just cut the fuzzies off. Because invariably when I'm stitching on this, I'm come back with the needle it gets hooked into all these little trims on the end. So this one isn't very big, 
but it is up close. Look how you'll be amazed. Product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. It is 148 by 204. Look at the size of that that bird. I swear, he must be like from here. Here's his tail. His tail is like okay. We're gonna turn it sideways. This is his head. These lines right here are on his tail, so it goes all the way down. Then you have another one up here, and then you have all those beautiful blossoms. Very well printed. I don't see any smearing. I'm checking them all out, making sure. Very nicely printed key. Now the stitching does go into it, but you have your paper pattern where it matches if you need to see the DMC color for any reason. But yeah, very well printed, very nice. And this one was, are you ready? $10.01. Yeah. So very, very nice. And these are so nice and easy. And this is another one of those thin canvases. It is not as stiff as some. So I'm liking these thinner canvases. They're easier to, you know, hold in your hand. It's nice and soft. Yeah. And lightweight. Especially when you start stitching and you start filling things in. It can get a little heavy. It's kind of like carrying around a blanket, if you will. But yeah, very nicely printed symbols. It does have the DMC and the product, or not product, the thread card number running down here. So they're very easy to read. Love it. Now New Craft Day does have diamond painting cross stitch and paint by number. They have tools for diamond painting and cross stitch. They also do custom. They do not have um, a separate Joy Sunday section. And they have lots of crafts and kits for well under $10. And right now they're having their Christmas sale. So I will put all the information for the Christmas sale and all the details that go with that. Because you get uh, so much off site-wide. Site you get buy one, get, you know, that kind of thing. Or buy two or three, I don't know the particulars but I will put them in the description box below thank you new craft day for sending me all these beautiful beautiful items I love them yeah it's like yeah we we need to start something else right not okay but yeah I really like that great big diamond painting it's not too big and it's not too wide I like that because it'll fit on my my light pad you know, and go right over the top if I want. And I sit it kind of at an angle now because I found that's a little bit easier on my neck. Can't sit it straight up, you know, like an easel like this. So it's at like an angle, like a 40, I don't know. It's at a, an angle. I don't know what the degree is. But it works so much better for my neck because I find myself leaning over the top of it. And there comes the stress in your neck. So if you can get it up just a little bit, it will take the pressure off your neck and your back. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and tell me which one of these two were your favorite. Have a great day. Bye-bye.